two up, two down for the race in the first. And here's G-Man Choi. Ground ball, and that's going to go through into center field. Well, a little mix up there. They had the shift on, and they had Anderson over there from third base on the first base side of second. He broke one way and then realized he had to go the other way. Yeah, it's not like the, it didn't look like the ball hit something and dramatically nope. changed direction. It's a weird play. Now here's Brandon Lau, who's in some kind of a slump. It has been a while since he's put some good wood on a baseball. Here's a swing, a looping line drive that's going to settle in for a base hit. Around second on his way to third is Jimon Choi. Up with it is the right fielder, Cooper. He gets it back into the infield. So Brandon Lau breaks an 0 for 13. He's at first base with runners at the corners now. And Yandy Diaz. Chop to third. Long throw from Anderson. Dug out by Walker. Nice play from one corner to the other. Good defensive play to get Jose and the Marlins out of the first. Tampa Bay, one of the highest scoring teams in baseball in the first inning. But the Marlins kept them off the board in the first in both of these games. Willie really picks up the one-out walk, and the Rays have a base runner here in the second for Anthony Benboom. Anthony Benboom still looking for his first big league hit. He's only had three big league at bats. Well, here's a drive to the gap in right center field. Back at it is Cooper to the wall, and it's off the wall on one hop. Willie got a great break. He's going to score on the RBI double by Anthony Benboom, who picks up his first big league hit. His first big league RBI and gives the Rays a 1-0 lead. Ben Boom delivers and he will want to save that baseball. The third goes Cooper two away. Deeks trying to put a zero up on the board after the Rays scored a run on the top of the city. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the Marlins cannot do anything with the leadoff single. Brandy pulls in at second base with his seventh double of the season. The Marlins with their first extra base hit in this two-game series. And a tying man from scoring position now for Brian Anderson. Grounded right to shortstop. Charging in Willie Adamas. Looks Granderson back to second. Throws low and Gmon down to a knee to the Dig it out. And two down and unproductive second out. Two gone with a runner at second. Neil Walker stepping in now. Towards right center. Shallow late break from Meadows coming in and he'll make the catch. The Marlins get a double and still are scoreless in 12 innings in this series. Beeks once again taking over in a game started by Stanek. And in four games coming in for Stanek, he has allowed just one run in 16 innings entering today. But the Marlins have an opportunity here. Two on, two out. Now the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a mess. He struck him out to retire the side. And the Marlins leave two more and continue to be scoreless in the series. We've got uh, trainer Dustin Lupker and Don Mattingly out checking on Miggy. He's limping off the field and coming out of the game. Just warming up in between innings. Right after he threw the ball, bent over, picked it. Looks like a little back spasm. So an opportunity for the Rays. Two on with nobody out. You know, this is an area where, plain and simple, the Rays have to get better. You know, the Rays have been very reliant on the home run here over the last couple of weeks. And they've got to be better at when they get guys on, getting them over and getting them in. The Rays with two on and nobody out, get nothing out of it. See Kalaric, little sidearm lefty. Here's the 0-1 pitch. He bunts again. Yandy coming on bare hands. Throws off balance and got him. Nice play by Yandy Diaz. Charging from third, a bare-headed pickup. And then an off-balance throw from the side to get Granderson by a step. Well done. And the Marlins, again with two outs, have something brewing. First and third for Starlin Castro. They're into their 14th inning in this series. They haven't scored a run yet. Right now, this raised lead kind of hanging to the balance. Breaking ball, line back up the middle. Diving stop by Brandon Lau. Gets up, throws the first, and he got him. A lead-saving play right there by Brandon Lau. And took away what many people here thought might have been a game-tying base hit. So here's Willie Adamas with a man at second and two outs. Grounded left side, and it gets past Anderson, knocked down by Birdie, and wandering a little too far from third is Diaz. The Rays run themselves into the final out here in the sixth, and the Marlins have second and third with nobody out. So Pagan in a heap of trouble here, and John Birdie will be the batter. Strike three called with a fastball down around the knees, and he gets Birdie looking for out number one. Swing, and he popped him up. On the infield, Yandy Diaz drifting into foul territory, now back into fair territory. He makes the catch for out number two. Now another big out to get. Martin Prado will come off the bench to pinch hit for Urania. What a tight wire if Pagan could walk this. The 0-2 again. Check swing, strike three, called. He got him looking. And Emilio Pagan wiggles off the hook and keeps the Rays on top. So with two outs, a walk, and then the base hit. And the Rays will have Choi coming to the plate. Two one runner goes for first, pitches high in the ball, far throws down. Now they're going to try to steal a run. Birdie comes home and they get the man at the plate. Two six two Meadows thrown out, trying to steal home. 
perfectly executed by the Marlins. It didn't work at all. With two outs, a double, and now a balk. And a runner at third. It's been all about this staff. They've made big pitches all night when they've needed to. You're going to have to do it again here. Swing pop-up, shallow right. Jimon Choi into foul territory. He has a play. And the side retired. And the Marlins are stranded once again with a runner at third base. And the Rays have thrown 17 scoreless innings against the Marlins in this series. So now the Marlins are down to their final out. It's Brian Anderson. 3-2 pitch runner goes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the Rays win. The Rays win. Rays win. They come into Miami and they sweep the Marlins in this brief two-game series. And they shut them out in both games while doing so.